Hello and welcome back to another video on Serious About Salvage. Today we are finally going to get back onto the Mint Vauxhall Adam. I hadn't expected getting a bumper was going to be so hard for this car. Um, you can buy them in kit form, obviously separated, but the problem was the spotlights. Couldn't find any spotlights, then the grills were the issue. Um, yeah, in the end, luckily, uh, a complete bumper did turn up and um, it was a reasonable price because I think the ones that were on there were like £500 for a Vauxhall Adam bumper. Anyway, I managed to get this one, I think, was for 350 I think it was. Um, because the main issue was I needed the loom as well. Now, long story short, they've not wrapped the loom in with the bumper. I did ask them specifically before I bought it whether the loom was with it, and they said it was. So, fingers crossed they come back to my um, message I've just sent them and say, oh yeah, sorry, uh, it's in the post. Because I can't, I can't need the loom. I mean, I messed up a little bit buying this kind of and it's a kind of... Um, decided a while back that I wouldn't buy cars that had been stripped because there's so many little bits um, that can be saved on crash cars. Uh, for instance, I mean, that, that's turnaround. For instance, on this car, uh, the damage was this side, wasn't it? I mean, it's not touched the bonnet. So therefore, there was a very, very good chance that all the centre grille was fine and the driver's side spotlight and spotlights around would have been fine. Um, and then obviously you've got your bits of bracketry inside as well. In fact, there isn't really any on this, is there, to be fair? But I mean, in that case and scenario, then I would have been able to just get a skin for 170 quid. Worst case, get a fog light and surround from Vauxhall and I'd have had a full bumper. But because I've got nothing, including no loom, I'm paying 350 if not more, for a bumper skin. So, I mean, bear that in mind, if, if the car... I mean, it was literally like this, wasn't it? Don't presume that the bumper and everything's going to be in the back, because uh, it quite often isn't. Uh, yeah, I, I should really... Buying cars that have been... I should stop buying cars that have been stripped like this, really, and just buy ones that they've been hit, and you can see it's been hit, but all the parts are still on it, because it does save you a lot of money in the end. Anyway, today's job... Obviously, we've got a red bumper and a red, red wing. I need to rub down all the edges and rattle can it. Just, just the edges that can't be seen when it's, you know, put together. On the wing and the bumper... Uh, obviously we're going to strip the bumper as well to do that um, and then we can get it built up and send it off to the paint shop but I've also got to finish sanding down my homemade sill obviously because uh, this car's going to need quite a bit of paint unfortunately uh, we've got bumper, we've got wing we've got this damage to this rear quarter um, not ideal And we have marks to the rear bumper as well, not just that side, but here as well. Uh, this side's okay, but, but depending on the match, obviously, they're going to have to flick into everything, so... By the time it's finished, probably the only parts that won't have been... Um, won't have had any paint or lacquer is going to be the bonnet this door and perhaps the boot lid isn't it because isn't we're going to have to flick into that cut rear quarter and have to flick into this wing yeah uh, well, never mind that's the way it is um i still like this car you know it's a it's a it's a it's a cute little car right let's let's crack on let's get this bumper I'm, 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 let's get this bumper stripped down both rubbed down on the edges rattle canned uh, the bump obviously will get built back up. Um, and yeah, let's do it.
Okay, some progress has been made. This wing's looking really good now, actually. A couple of coats of paint. Just put a tiny bit of lacquer just on the edges. Again, like I said, it's just to protect the paint that they're not going to rub down again, you know, underneath and on the right on the edge. But it's nicely covered all the way around. It's a nice colour. I don't think it's too far out, to be fair. Might be a little bit more greeny, but like I said, it doesn't matter for what way you actually want it to do, just the edges. They're going to go over all the face again. Um, so yeah, also the bumper. Strip down, all the edges are also done. I need to just put a bit of lacquer on that yet. Clear coat. And uh, obviously we'll build, build that back up again when it's dried. But so far so good. So we're on to the wing. The wing needs its final sand down now. Get its proper shape. And then it's going to get a bit of stone stone guard isn't it like the original there where it's rough i want to mask off and do that in stone guard and then obviously we need to create our fixings for our uh, wing to go into um fingers crossed that all goes to plan and it's coming on now coming getting there isn't it so yeah next up get this sill um Sand it down, ready for for the wing, really. And I'll decide. I don't know what process I'm going to do it in yet. I think it's sanded down. I'm going to blow over it with the rattle can so that the wing can go on. And then I'll mask off probably and do the stone guard at a later date. I think that's probably the best sequence of events. Let's continue. Right, the wing is now, not wing, uh, the sill's done, pretty much done. Got a bit of seam sealer in there, I've painted the top section because obviously the wing is going to go on top of that. All I need to do is trial fit the wing, mark out where the fixings are and drill through that for the fixings. Uh, but I'll leave that to dry for a little bit. We have now got to fit the new headlight bracket and obviously we've got this headlight to put in because um, that goes in uh, it probably would go in after the wing in fact does it probably do it either way around by lots of it so we'll fit it now might as well whilst we're waiting for that sill to dry fit the wing fit the headlights so i fit the brackets and then it'll be straight onto the wing it'd be nice to get this wing on it'll look like then we're making a bit of progress um, which is good so Let's continue.
There we go. How much better does that look? I'm extremely impressed with how close that paint match is. Really, really close. It's made me think whether to... No, I'm not. It's going body shop. <laughs> they get such, enough, uh, uh, such a good shine on the body shop. Um, I'm not rattle can I? I can't, it's pathetic. But anyway, look at that. Nice body gaps, door to wing. Nice gap, sill to wing. I'm very impressed with that sill. Bear in mind, I chopped the whole thing off, made a brand new whole piece. It's looking really good. Obviously, we've got to stone guard it and it's got to be painted yet. Um, but the lines, I mean, it perfectly lined up with the end there as well. Very happy with that. I mean, I made one mistake and I knew this a while back. So if you have noticed, yes, I've forgotten to make a fixing point for the splash guard, which should be here. I should have left a bit of steel there for the splash guard to fix to. By the time I'd realised, it was too late. So I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Uh, we'll come to that when I get to it, basically. But I'll show you the other side. If you look right in the corner there, there's a fixing. There should be, there's a little bit of steel behind that part of the sill for it to fix to. I mean, I'll figure some out, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. Uh, yeah, but I'm really, really chuffed with that, really chuffed with that. Yeah, I'm very happy. Uh, so at this point, we, we have the splash guards put in and then the bumper skin, which I still haven't uh, built up yet. I've not put everything back in it yet. But excellent, what a really good um, bit of progress so far. Headlight needs a little bit of fettling on the position. It's a bit big, it wants to just go that way a touch, which it will do because it's a bit, that one's a bit tighter. So I do want to sponge that over, but I don't want to do it until the bumper's on and I've got all the gaps and I can work out exactly where it wants to go then. But yeah, very good, excellent. So I'm gonna nip out and just get an MOT done on the car now. And then when I come back, I think, yeah, we'll go with the splash guard and get that bumper on. And this will be pretty much ready to go to the paint shop. Uh, I do need to find my plastic trim as well. I've misplaced it and I don't know what I've done with it. Um, Cause the one on the replacement wing has the silver trim and we don't want that. I hope I haven't thrown it thinking, oh, I've got, I've got one with a new wing. Um, I just can't find it right now. A bit around somewhere probably. So I'll have a hunt for that, but yeah, we'll continue. And um, yeah, what? I, I'm just really happy with that. I really am. Yeah, good stuff. There we go. It's looking funky, isn't it, with all the edges done in in the mint colour and the patches are red. 
It's different. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's gone on uh, well, that bumper, actually. Fits really good. Perfect up to the wings. There's no fixings in there. Again, on this side, no fixings in there at all. Looking good. I do think there's a piece missing, though. I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, that, that's, like I said, that's just sat on that bumper. No screws in it. So happy, actually. I don't know the story with this splash guard, though. I'm not liking it. It's not a genuine one, it's an aftermarket. And instead of, um, if we look at that, that there, that's the back side. Them little, like, channels, the wing slots into. And on the new one, they've got some horrible clips in there instead. You can't really see them, but it's just not... It just looks rubbish, doesn't it? Don't like all this. Don't, don't fit well. So I'm going to have to think about, again, what I'm going to do about that. That's the bottom fixing again. It doesn't look... It just does looks rubbish. I need to think about what to do about that. Mm, I need to find some clips as well for it. It's in, but it's loose. Yeah, we'll see. I might... I might just have to try and make do with the original. It's got a crack in it. I could try to plastic weld up. I don't know. I'm not don't know. There's not no big rush for that really. I can wait until it comes back from the paint shop. Worst case, I'll order another one, a genuine one. Uh, but yeah, good. Now the bit I think is missing. If we just open up the bonnet again, let's have a look. So down here, where this obviously is supposed to fix to your slam panel, there's nothing for it to fix to. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing there. So what's missing? It's weird because there's no holes either. But that doesn't just flap around like that. It's got to be fixed to something. So it's um, times like this when that cat car website I mentioned in the previous video really do help because now I can look at this car, get an exploded diagram of the front end, find exactly what piece is missing and it'll give me a part number for it. And then I'll just put that through eBay. You usually find uh, what I'm looking for. There's got to be something, hasn't there? I mean, that could tag into the headlights. But still, I mean, there's marks on there. Like, there's a fixing bin in it, on the whatever car it come off. So, I need to... I need to figure that out, yeah. But other than that, again, it can go to paint now, can't it? I need to secure that bumper a little bit better. I've got the little spot like trim to go on the bottom of the bumper i might leave that off until um it comes back saves them having to wrap it up and i mean at some point this bumper's got to come off anyway to put that balloon back in it um which credit to the ebay store i bought the bumper from they've said they've apologized and they're sending it out today so that loom is critical that's got to go in otherwise the spotlights won't work uh fog lights whatever so yeah i mean that is pretty much all they need to do to uh to send it down to paint shop and then we'll we'll do the rebuild when it comes back properly draw tighten everything up line everything up um i am going to put a screw in each side of that bumper just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere um yeah all good so um i think it's gonna be the end for this video isn't it we'll uh, make one more when it comes back all nice and painted in its mint green uh i would presume it needs an mot i can't remember right now but we'll be doing obviously the, the last little fix up an mot if it needs it service it clean it all up 
in the next video and it'll be done it's got quite a lot of new suspension components this new strut new control arm it's a nice one i like this car all right thank you as always for watching massively appreciated don't forget a thumbs up i've got a great video coming soon um i'm excited to share with you so keep an eye on the channel for something a bit different coming soon uh, hopefully the next few days uh, thanks for watching massively appreciate it i'll see you in the next one cheers